I wanted to do a bit of a follow-up to an earlier post that I did a few weeks ago uh, on this lamp, uh, the one titled Balaam in the Flesh, and I described this great image that I found in the um, uh, in accordance in the American Colony Collection. Uh, I was doing a study on on Balaam, and uh, out of Numbers 22 and 23. And uh, this turned out to be just the, the greatest picture. I mean, obviously it's a modern picture, but I used that in the, this was, this was the final keynote slide uh, that I used here. And so I wanted to, I wanted to have a follow-up to this to show basically how I go about finding the exact right picture using Bible software. And we live in a, we live in a visual culture, and so uh, I like to I like to have uh, illustrative images in slides. So using using that particular uh, image as an example, let me just kind of go through what would be a normal workflow. And so here I'm in accordance, and I've got it set to numbers 22. R really, the the Balaam cycle is numbers 22 through 24. Uh, we were focusing just on numbers 22 and 23 in that particular class, but uh, you know, if I was to start here, uh, there are some ways to do graphic searches, and I'm going to show you those in, in a second. But I'll tell you what I normally do first is usually what I do first. I, I I've got I'll have open next to the passage the Zondervan Illustrated Biblical Background Commentary on the Old Testament. I, I love these uh, commentaries, Old and New Testament, because of the images in them. I'll be honest, I use the images more than I use the actual text. Although, if you're not familiar with this. Um, if you're not familiar with this resource, uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, you know, there's uh, here. I just went to um, uh, some of the footnotes. Really, the footnotes to me are where it's most valuable because you can find in here uh, ancient sources and other uh, sources that will illustrate what you're doing. So I'm going to go back here a second. And in this particular, I, I was looking for a, I was looking for the kind of the right image, and I'm thinking of Balaam riding on that donkey, and I, I wanted something in here to use. And so, you know, there's there's not a lot of images in this particular passage here in the, the Zondervan commentary, but now here's a good one: figurine of a man on a donkey, reminiscent of Balaam. And so, uh, you know, the, these are some. This is a great image, and Accordance usually has some very high resolution images that I can put in in Keynote. And, but uh, that I thought, well, I might want to use that one. That may not be the exact one that I want to look uh, that I want to use. So, in, in going a little bit further, there's some other images, but I, I really didn't find exactly what I was looking for. Uh, there's one as well. Now, I'll tell you, like I said, I, I normally look here first, but when I can't find exactly what I'm looking for, I'll use a I'll use I'll look first in a couple of other. Uh, resources. One that I look for, one that I look at, is the Accordance Bible Lens Photo Guide. And if you're not familiar with this, this is a really great resource. This has alphabetically different places that are that are mentioned in the Bible, and some some really wonderful pictures. Uh, as you can see here, just lots and lots of uh, pictures that you can use to illustrate whatever it is that you're you're teaching, or, or even if you're just studying on your own. And so, uh, in this particular um, in this particular study, because uh, say numbers 22 through 24, for instance, the the um, plains of of Moab are mentioned. So I could I could type in here Moab, and let's go to the let's go to the next mark, and we'll go to the actual Moab article. And so you know here's some here's some really nice images: uh, mountains of Moab near Mount Nebo, uh, looking north from the summit of Mount Nebo. It might be a great illustration of what Balaam might have seen in his day, although it had hopefully been a little bit greener. Uh, so, you know, these are some these are some great resources uh, to use, and uh, that was that was one that you know, this is one that I, I often pull a lot of great images from. Uh, another one that I pull a lot of images from is this American Colony Collection. These are these are great pictures because they're photographs taken taken of Israel and the surrounding area. Uh, at uh, late 19th century, early 20th century, and so you have a lot of very biblical-looking images here that um, uh, you can use to illustrate. Uh, you can use to illustrate what you're teaching. And what's really great about them is when you look at these backgrounds, you don't see any uh, you don't see any telephone or electric lines. You don't see airplanes. You don't you, you rarely see cars in these pictures, although they're in some of them. So that's a great source. And so what I wanted to do, I wanted to find this picture, and I didn't think that I could 
look in the American colony and necessarily find a picture of Balaam, but I thought, I, I bet I can find a donkey. So um, I, typed in, I typed in donkey, and, and you can, in accordance, you can search uh, underneath uh, different types of fields. And so, for instance, title, content, scripture, captions, transliteration, bibliography, or photo code. So I wanted to search here just for captions, and I'm going to bring that back out. And we'll do our search uh, for donkey. And it really, this was this was the first picture that I found. I, I looked at this picture, and I just I knew that this was going to be the one of the pictures I wanted to use because I thought that's a great picture of uh, this fella riding on a donkey, probably posed. Uh, this is actually Bethlehem in the background, but but what a wonderful picture! These stone. Um, these stone walls that are around him. Uh, I'm, I don't know what this exact location would look like today, but I'm sure it'd be very, very different. So I knew that I was going to, to use that picture. And, you know, for this particular picture that I was looking for, really my search, my, my search pretty much stopped there. But uh, if it was a under normal circumstances, if I was looking for other pictures and I was going to search a little bit further, a lot of what I a lot of what I'll do uh, most of the time is I'll go down and, and Accordance has this um, search that's that's just for graphic tools. And so if I go into uh, this search just of graphic tools, what they've done is they've kind of culled some of their resources that are uh, more graphics oriented. And so um, if I want to do th look, if I want to search through those, I'm going to search through the graphic. Uh, tools and I'm going to again I'm going to go and search just for just for caption uh, because I just want to find stuff that's right there with the with the photograph so I'm going to type donkey in here now uh, the reality is that uh, in a lot of the the older resources uh, the word that would be used is is ass and so I'm going to look for donkey or ass and so when when I hit return on this uh, I, I immediately find just in those those uh, titles that I have that are uh, geared toward um, geared toward graphics. I immediately find some of these images, uh, and so this is, for instance, in the biblical archaeology uh, the biblical archaeology review archive. Uh, these are photos, uh, and so you know these are some. This allows me to look through these quickly. Here's an actual uh, picture of uh, of Balaam. A, a, a Photograph. There's a better picture of that in um, the Bible Art module in Accordance, which and I ended up using that. I uh, lost my search there. Let me go back to my search. But um, here's the here's the American Colony photos. This is this is the actual one that I ended up using. But there's some other great ones too. Uh, a man plowing with a donkey and a cow. Um, just some really interesting pictures. Uh, here's a here's a family. Uh, with a donkey that would um, might be a nice Joseph and Mary type type picture, uh, and uh, I thought this was interesting too. This this fella on his uh, donkey with his rifle. So I'm not going to use that to illustrate a biblical uh, picture, but it's still interesting nonetheless. So I I can I can go through these, and again these this particular search is of just the just the graphic. Uh, some of the graphic tools and there's more titles that are in there. This is just where it found. This is just where it found results. Here's the the Bible art that has some of these old uh, masters and here's the. Uh, there's even pictures of donkeys in the Zondervan Illustrated Biblical Commentary on the New Testament. So some of those are in there as well. Here's the Zondervan Encyclopedia of the Bible, the the Holman Dictionary, and so, some other other uh, resources where I can find. Uh, pictures of pictures of donkeys. Now, the other thing that I can do is I don't have to limit it just to these that they've kind of called here. I can I can go in and I can I can just search uh, everything that I have. Now, it's not gonna it's not gonna really do any. It's no, really no need to search everything because everything would also include biblical text, which aren't gonna have pictures in them. But I can search everything besides biblical text by searching all tools. So if I do this search. Uh, it finds a couple of more. Uh, this, I think, added uh, Unger's Dictionary. We've got a man plowing with a donkey there that I could use. And also one of the Carter resources uh, had, a, had an image as well. But this basically represents every non-text 
title, an unbiblical text title that I have in accordance that has the word donkey in the caption. And so that's that's generally what I do, what I go through to find an image that I want to use in one of the uh, in some keynote slides or something like that if I'm if I'm teaching. So that's what I'll do for um, that's what I'll do for. Um, uh, for if I'm looking just in accordance. Now, sometimes if I don't find exactly what I'm looking for in accordance, I'll look elsewhere as well. And so, for instance, I also have uh, I also have on my system I have Logos, and uh, I've already run the search in the passage guide because often these take a little while. But uh, I put numbers 22 through 24 here in the passage guide, and so um, that will that will pull out images. Uh, it, it found some things in biblical people. You can also, if you want to, you can do a direct search for biblical people uh, or biblical things. And so there's some pictures here. Here's uh, some pictures of Balaam. There's some uh, kind of family tree type pictures. Uh, Balak, uh, Zippor. Uh, and then there's biblical places, some maps that it pulls out. And then there's biblical things. And so here's, you know, again, looking for a picture of a donkey. Here's some pictures of a donkey. And I've, if I want to look at one of these a little bit uh, closer up, I can um, click on the image and it will come up here. And in fact, then all of those images are now down here below and I can, I can look at some of these. And, and if I want to use one, I can then send that to, um, to Keynote. So... That's that's one option. When I, now I can also search through my titles in Logos just for uh, a particular image, and the way to do that, from what I understand, it's it's not up here in any of the the menus. You have to look this up in the help system. But if I type pound and then write in image donkey, and then in capital letters type pound image ass uh, and do the search uh, it will look through all of the titles that I have in um, that I have in Logos to to find some of these uh, images as well when I'm looking for again just the right picture for something and so I can look at these if I want to if I want to see a picture up close uh, what I can do is I can click on the a title and that will bring it up. It brings it up in the window, and usually what I'll do is I'll open this in a floating window so that I can see it a little bit larger. Uh, and so there's that that particular image from that particular uh, resource. I'm going to close that. And, and so this is this is helpful as well. And I find a lot of images here. Um, but as I go further on, one thing I've noticed is that because I'm not really searching necessarily through captions, it will start to find some other things too. For instance. Here's a picture of Charles Haddon Spurgeon, which I wouldn't expect to find in looking for a, a donkey or an ass. But I, I looked at this. I thought, why is, why is Charles Haddon Spurgeon showing up here? And so um, I looked through it, and uh, I, I found that there's this, there's this, there's actually two pictures away. There's this phrase, um, there are more asses than those with four legs. I liked it enough that I highlighted it. So uh, it's it's kind of in a proximity. I don't know what the limit of that is. And it seems to me like the, the better images in a search like this are closer to the top. And the further you get away from the top, the less, the less likely it is that you're going to find an image that you actually want to use. Now, if I haven't found an image that I want in accordance and I haven't found it in Logos, usually what I'll do is... I'll, at, as last resort, whoops, as last resort, I'll go to um, the internet. And so, because you can do a Google search. Now, uh, if I go to a Google image search, I'll warn you, I'm, I'm not about to do a search for uh, ass on Google images, but I will do a search for donkey. And so I can do that and I can find the right kind of, all kinds of donkeys, but not necessarily in the kind of settings that I want. So I'm going to stop there because you never know what you're going to come across in some of these. But let's, uh, let me show you the final step that I, I do in a picture like this. So if I'm going to use, if I'm going to use a picture like uh, this particular one uh, that I found in the American Colony collection, I'll take this picture and I'll right click on it and I'll say copy picture. Then I'll switch over here to Keynote and I'll paste this 
paste this in. Now, the thing about it is, the, as I've mentioned, these pictures uh, that come out of, usually the pictures in accordance are, are really are really good resolution. I usually have to, to make them smaller. Uh, but I'll, I'll take this picture, and I was trying to exactly center it on the screen. Here, there we go. I'll take this picture, and it's already in black and white. That's the only kind of film that was around at the time these pictures were taken. But I like to take these pictures from the American colony that, that look like they're right out of Bible times and uh, apply a sepia tone look to it. Uh, for some reason, that just, uh, that just looks a little bit more um, uh, uh, antique. Uh, it looks a little bit more antiquated to put that sepia tone on it. So I'm going to say, uh, sh I'm going to pull up this palette that says show adjust image. So this is the adjust image palette. And I'm going to go down here to... Uh, let's see, I think it's temp yeah, it's temperature. And I'm going to just move this to the right. And you see as I move it to the right, uh, it basically kind of adds a little bit of yellow to it. It makes it a little bit warmer. And so this, this picture becomes exactly what I wanted to use. And I, I use this in three different slides in Keynote, but one of them is the, um, is the slide that I, I believe I showed in the, in the actual uh, blog post that I first did. Uh, stay grateful for God's care. You see, this, I did this little overlay over the image. So this this looks, okay, here's our study of Balaam. There's Balaam riding on his donkey and uh, just the exact right image that I needed. And I'm very grateful to have this kind of content. I'm grateful that I can, I can you know, search for these images, that I can search through captions, and it helps me find exactly what I'm looking for most of the time.